uh, obviously disappointed. Um, you know, I thought our game plan early was good. Um, we knew that they were a three-point shooting team. Uh, you know, got a, got a, got behind a little bit, and I had to remind the team that there's a couple teams that have been behind recently and made some great comebacks. And so I thought the fight was there. Uh, kind of lost control of it when we tried to press and um, you know change the, the minimum of the game late in the game. So uh, you know we got they're tough they're a tough match because they have their fours and fives are actually perimeter players and so we spread ourselves out and uh, they adjusted in the second half so um, just got to get got to get better. All right, we'll over up to questions for the student athletes. Joe, whenever you're ready. Sorry, first I'm um, just. Those looks that you got there in the first quarter, you knocked down those three three pointers. What was kind of, you know, how good did it feel to kind of get going like that? And what was kind of the key to getting you those shots and getting you those looks that you that you were able to knock down? I think the key for us was getting stops on the defensive end, um, and then for us transition worked in the first um, quarter because we were running um, and getting stops from them. So the point guard would get it, kick it up and we'd all be running. So I think it was just the extra passes that everyone was getting. So I think it was just getting the stops on defense that we needed to then get transition offense, which is the best offense you can get. And just the beginning there, I mean, how locked in was the team? I mean, did you, did you sense that the, the, the first, you know, five minutes of the game? How locked in were you as a team there? I mean, whenever we come out, it's the first five minutes. We always say it as a team, even in the huddle before we start the actual game. Um, it's always five minutes. The first five minutes is where we're going to give everything. And then once the subs come through, same thing. Um, so for us, it's always the first five minutes. That's what we try and um, hang our hat on and do that. The Myla, for, for you, um, you know, did you, you obviously really kind of try to get your team back there in the second half. Did you kind of send, I mean, was that kind of your mentality, you know, trying to just get this team back in the game uh, to, when you went on that run there in the second half for yourself? Yeah, my um, mentality with coming into this game was like, you just got to play aggressively. And they always say you start on defense. So once I got steals and, you know, made good passes, now I'm into the game and now I can get into my shots. And, you know, they told me to hunt my shot tonight. And I just came out and did that. And the team really helped me out with that, too. For either of the players, I mean, Coach kind of talked about this, but the challenge that they present uh, the offensively, you know, on the, on your you when you're on the defensive end, just – with an ability to go inside and then also with a three-point that they can shoot. What kind of challenges does that present uh, when you're trying to defend against them? I mean, <clears throat> it's hard when everyone can shoot the three, even the fives. Uh, I know number 43 is the best three-point shooter. Um, so that spreads us out and then it opens up uh, the cutters. Um, and as we saw um, in the second half, they went to inside and we didn't have backside help. So I think that's kind of what got us um, out of the game. The second quarter, looking at it, is where we kind of fell. The rest were probably like pretty even. Um, so I think I think it's just we need to lock in. When they do something different, we need to do something different too. So Milo, just the shift there between those first five minutes and then after they went on the run, what, what kind of was key to that for them? And, and maybe was it just something you guys weren't doing? Was it something they were doing? How do you kind of, what do you kind of uh, see out of that, that switch there? It was definitely something we weren't doing. You know, like Sar said, um, we were so focused on their shooters that we were all spreading out and then just rotations getting back into the middle and, you know, just coming back in and after being so far out on the perimeter and we just had to make adjustments and we didn't do that on the court as a team. Okay, uh, that's all for the players. Sara, Demila, thank you both for joining us. And uh, Joe, whenever you're ready, we'll do questions with Coach Fay. Sure, uh, just this first five minutes, you know, was that the most you know, locked in you've seen the team or have you seen a stretch like that? I mean, because it just looked like defensively and offensively, Things were clicking both together there for those first five minutes. Yeah, I mean, the team was locked in. We were doing our game plan. I, mean, I didn't expect Mizzou to roll over. There's, there's not, they're a very good team, the yeah, um, experience. So I, I didn't, I didn't expect that to stay that way. It's just a difference. We, you know, one of the things we noted is we, we took like 75 shots today. Um, the shots are there, but we shot, you know, 27 percent, I guess, total or whatever, 36% for the game. So, the, you know, the opportunities, now we gotta, we gotta, it, it's like, I wanted a high, I wanted a high volume shots today. I, I felt like that's 
I kind of gave, if you heard uh, D go, I, you know, I, I gave a little bit more, let's, let's go. If you got an open shot, let's take it within context of stuff. And they did. I mean, we took 27 threes. Um, and we you got more opportunities. Okay, so you talk about all the defensive breakdowns. We got to score. Um, and I think we had the opportunities. But now it's just a matter of getting back in the gym and hitting those shots because the opportunities were there. And do you feel like that was one of their something that you could exploit by playing faster? I mean, was that was that sort of the game plan, or what? What was kind of the key tenets of the game plan that you wanted to see from your team if you're going to come out with a win tonight? Uh, one was defensively. I mean, what they what they started to do is started po when they the first quarter. I felt like they were playing into their perimeter game, and then they started making some changes and putting some big kid big kids inside, um, and yet those big kids could still shoot it. So it was a little of a chess match going, you know, we tried to go big for a little bit, that did not work. Um, so the game plan, quite frankly, was what you saw in the first 10 minutes. Um, but uh, that's what games are, they, they adjust. I, 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 still like, I still feel like if we can get 75 to 80 possessions, this sh should transla translate into more and make this game like a, a little bit more comparable. For for Sarah and then De, Sarah and then Demila, what what you kind of see from each of them offensively? I know they each kind of had one in the first half, one in the second half. But what you kind of see from them offensively that was key? We're trying to get us more aggressive. Looking at you know, we went to a little bit of a five out offense, and because um, open up the court a little bit, get the drives because we've been running into a lot of people that have been denying actions. So we feel like we've got people that can dribble and kick. And so those guys are just two players that have an aggressive mindset um, kind of fit into what we were trying to do today. Daly has been key for you, but did they do something to defensively? You know, what did you kind of see from her? You know, was it, you know, getting frustrated on her part? Or what did you kind of see that they were able to do to, to kind of shut her down? Yeah, everybody else is going to have to figure that out. I'm not going to give the, you know, um, they, they did a different strategy on her, yes. Um, and she's really capable of, of reacting to that strategy, and I'm confident when she comes back, um, she'll address that. And, and last one, you know, you, is it kind of when they can not only put it in the paint like they're able to, but also shoot from outside, I mean, how much of a kind of pick your poison is it with that when they can do both of those that's things? What, that's what makes good teams. You know what I'm saying? Because we try to take away one thing, and then they came back at the other. And then we try to counter, but then they went back to the – if you watch the game, you could see, like, the subbing and what was going on. Um, we were trying to send help. We were late on the help in the, in the third and fourth quarter because I had decided to stay small for the most part. Um, and we were just late, simply late. And then, uh, you know, talking to the team, they got so concerned with the perimeter that Missouri just started – put the ball on the floor and we just we flat out didn't react um, and that's something I got to correct we got we've got to be able to in game change philosophies and and let it stick and how difficult does that to make it when you go smaller rebounding wise because I mean I guess it's just sort of a, a balance there that you got to strike yeah we have to have we really focus in on rebounding by by grit versus size because we we not necessarily that doesn't relate if if someone's necessarily getting boards if they're tall. So we went with more of a gritty lineup, hoping that would uh, help us. It, though the the things at the end like we were we were all planned to front it and we got caught behind. Uh, so uh, you know our, our kids, I did like the effort. I, I don't think they stopped playing. I just don't think we executed at the end. Thank you for the time. Thank you. All right. Thanks.